Hello and welcome back to Two Brunettes of Baltimore. I'm Lauren. And I'm Tara. Welcome back for another episode. We're, We're back, back, baby! <laughs> I finally did it when you did it. Uh, we're back for another episode. Anyway. Anyways. Um. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, we so, decided that we're going to record two episodes. Two episodes tonight. So before we get into it, what what's happened in the past few days for you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I went home. Yes. And I took the train this time it was so easy the um amtrak from baltimore penn station takes you right up to like trenton princeton area Mm -hmm. Mm, it is so nice i was there in like a little less than two hours oh that's nice it was perfect um was your train actually delayed it was a little bit it was okay yeah i remember you said it looks like it was yeah um and then I came back on the train and it was nice and easy. I was like, oh my God, this is like beautiful. I don't have to drive. Yeah. I don't know. You could like turn off your brain a little bit. I planned yeah. um, part of the Montreal trip, like some of the restaurants and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was nice to get done. That's but so exciting. When I was home, my older brother came up. My younger brother was there. My parents were there. So I the know. whole squad was there. And we were celebrating my younger cousin's um, high school graduation. Oh, so they're yes. from Michigan and they came down, the whole family. And we did um, like a dinner celebration. They rented out a whole room at one of the restaurants in Princeton. Which and, restaurant? Um, Salt Creek Grill. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And they like rented it all out. And it was her other cousins, like the other side of the family and us. Oh so my it was a God. nice little mix of everyone. That's fun. Um, we saw the Barbie movie. You did? Yeah. Was it good? It was about the patriarchy. I- I've heard. I yes. didn't know that. Yeah, I heard it's like extremely feminist yeah. too. Yeah. I had no idea. It That's was good though. Was um, it like, because Evan was asking, he was like, we were talking about the Barbie movie this uh, mm-hmm. past couple days. And Evan was like, is it for like children or is it for like older people? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, don't, is it like, I didn't even think about that. Is it like mature? It definitely is a little bit, but I think that there Younger. are like adult jokes in it that as a kid, you wouldn't pick up on it. Yeah. But you can still watch it, I guess, yeah. as a kid. Yeah, definitely. But, but when I went, there were definitely mainly yeah. like people our age in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did that. And then, we had the dinner all together. We like went and played cards afterwards. Do you know the game Prez? Like, no. So oh, like, wait. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like there's families, um, bombs, no. wild cards. No. Stuff like that. Okay. So we played that. We used to play that all the time when we were younger, when they lived here and everything or whenever we would visit. So we got a few rounds of that in. And then on Sunday, um, my mom's side of the family came over. Mm-hmm. And it, there were a bunch of us, like all of her cousins and uncle and everything. That's so so that was really fun. And their kids and their kids are younger. So it was really fun just to like hang out with everyone and Aww. just have a a day with them. But um, it was really funny, too, because my mom like put on this whole like lunch and everything. And in the state she's in still, she is so boss lady. Is she? Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain this woman. Like, <laughs> it's just She's still putting on, like, she's still hostess. Like, Mm -hmm. there's nothing stopping her. So it's really fun to watch. Um, So that was, it was just such a nice weekend with the family. It looked nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was so fun. That's nice that you got to see, like, both your brothers, too. Yeah, oh, my gosh. And then this weekend, I go and see Robbie in New Orleans. That's crazy. That's this weekend. I know, it's crazy. So you go Thursday. You fly Thursday. Yeah, I fly Thursday. I'm going with my best friend from kindergarten and Zoe. Oh, my God. So it's going to be, like, the first time, you know, Robbie and Zoe are really seeing each other, like, spending a longer period of time together since we're older. Yeah. Because it's always, like, in passing or he's not home or she's not whatever. Um, So it'll be really fun. That's so fun. And I get to hang, like, we're going to hang out with Kate, his girlfriend and everything. And the dog. spy a little bit, (laughs) you know, see what they're like. Oh, that's puppy Lily. It's going to be fun to, like, go around New Orleans and Mm -hmm. everything. Oh, my gosh. We keep saying, like, I mean, I want to go so bad because Ma grew up there and she hasn't been there in a a while. So I'm like, we should go. I'm so excited. (laughs) That's so fun. And then you're going to Canada. Yeah. But we'll get to that in the next episode. (laughs) True. True. (laughs) 
anyway <laughs> that's fun though. yeah so how was your weekend it was the weekend was good mm-hmm. i i worked um over the weekend and grace worked too so it was just nice to go together yeah. a lot like everybody that was working too like it was a it was a good group this mm-hmm. weekend like i feel like we had a lot of fun yeah <laughs> and it's very chill on the week i mean it's busy but yeah like the vibes are more chill i feel yeah. like but it was crazy saturday mm-hmm. was like busy yeah like it was just non-stop i had a very like heavy patient assignment yeah. um but sunday they switched people around a little because they realized that like some people got really heavy yeah. assignments and then some people didn't but um sunday was definitely less crazy my student was with me on saturday actually mm-hmm. but not on sunday and then yeah and then sad but oh i went so yesterday it was literally like the I was yeah I had off yesterday and today and yesterday my mom it's like afternoon it's like three o'clock or so three thirty and my mom was like texting me and she was like can you and Evan talk on the phone like Willow's not doing well oh, no. like our dog for yeah. anyone that doesn't know <laughs> um and, and how old I is she like, again she's 14 Aww. um and I was like oh no like I just like I felt before she even said anything else I was like oh this is yeah, it like like it's bad and I call I was on the phone with my mom and dad for a while um and she basically was just like really not doing well I mean she's been acting weird I mean she also has like a lot of underlying mm-hmm. diseases already like I mean she's 14 mm-hmm. um she gets like seizures sometimes she has like congestive heart failure mm-hmm. and a heart arrhythmia um but like in the past like week or two she was acting slower but like the past like day or two she was like not eating oh, not no, moving yeah. just like laying there her breathing was really labored Ugh. and like quick and just shallow and she just did not look yeah. good and they always say when they're not eating and drinking that's kind of when yeah. you know not wanting to go outside yeah um so we were like that's it like but it was hard because it was like after hours our vet was closed oh no and then there's like a couple animal emergency hospitals near mm-hmm. us but um we went to one that was like really nice like mm-hmm. it was like because the other one we've been to is good but it's like a cool colder not nice kind of vibe mm-hmm. to it but this place had like fountains outside oh, like wow. it was like really like warm and yeah. nice everybody in there was really nice yeah which makes a difference but anyways like long story short yeah. she got checked out they did x-rays they realized she has like aspiration pneumonia from okay. she vomited yesterday and then she must have inhaled some of the vomit that and oh. it went into her lungs which can give you pneumonia so the x-ray looked as if it was that and that yeah. it wasn't her heart disease worsening like her heart disease just it's there but it's not like that yeah. was what's making this happen i guess um so right now um they're treating her with some antibiotics and oxygen therapy mm-hmm. um i was like how do they do oxygen for dogs yeah but they put them in like a box with oxygen flowing um and you know because they felt because pneumonia is something that's treatable Mm -hmm. so we wanted to like basically give it our best chance because they said it's treatable like it's not like okay this is it like yeah it was kind of best case scenario when we talked to them yesterday um and oh my god today she's like she ate um they said when she when they brought her out to evaluate her she was wagging her tail oh my gosh she actually ate her food today like they said she was like acting so much better. They were yeah. like weaning her off the oxygen. Good. So, and then once she's eating, they'll be able to give her like oral forms of mm-hmm. the antibiotics, and then she can hopefully come home Aww. tomorrow. So yeah. she's been there last night, and then probably tonight. So, you know, hopefully. They, yeah. I mean, they're really nice. So they've called us, called my mom like multiple mm-hmm. times today with updates, like multiple times, and like our vet called us mm-hmm. too, and all of that. So, and it's like, we don't, it's not, you never know how much longer they have, but when it's something that's treatable, we were like, let's try this and everything and see what happens. So, oh, we'll see, but just like, yeah, when I thought that it was, that was it, I was just so upset yesterday. I was like, and like, I, but I like was able to calm myself to drive because I was like, I got to be there. Like, I know some people probably wouldn't want to be there Mm -hmm. because it'd be easier not to be there maybe. 
but I need to be with her. Like I need to say bye. Like, yeah. And and that's my dog. Like I've been I with know. her since I was eight. Like literally. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was like oh, that's that so was sad. the majority of like because the past couple of days, like I went yesterday. This yeah. was yesterday. This was like not even like forty eight hours ago. And oh then, my gosh. Um, today I came back, so I was only in Jersey for like not even 24 yeah. hours but oh my gosh that's yeah. so crazy i would have stayed if i didn't work tomorrow yeah. and all of that but it's okay now like you know yeah at least she's better yeah that's like, so she's sad better, though so we'll see yeah fingers crossed i know I oh my gosh poor thing yeah I um, even feel bad, like, the fact that she was just so sick. Like, I know. so uncomfortable. I know. See, that's the and thing, too. And dogs can't say anything. And we don't... That's the thing. We were like, we want to do what's best for her. Yeah. Like, we don't want to prolong her life for us. We want to do what's best with, for her. But because it was something that was treatable and she seems comfortable now and not in pain, mm-hmm. we're like, okay. But, like, if she's in constant pain, we're not going to, yeah. you know, like um we just want her to be comfortable yeah exactly. um so we'll see but yeah that and it was so weird today at home in jersey because i was like looking for her yeah like oh, i got sure, up and i was yeah. like wait, wait where's Willow? that's a weird thing when oakley passed away i kept thinking i would s- i was seeing him in the house like i yeah. kept thinking he was like sitting next to me on the couch i, I was like know. whoa or like he would be sitting at the table and i'm like oh my god he's under the table no like it's so weird i like i'm not that's just it's gonna not be, gonna be that's okay gonna be so yeah. sad but like and today. i remember too like when robbie was robbie was away when it happened so like the next time Aww. he came home he was like where's oakley oh see so it's that's weird so sad. yeah it's so sad anyways <laughs> anyway let's get off the sad yeah. topic <laughs> yeah so today's topic we're gonna go back and basically look at all our goals from our goals for 2023 yeah. episode and then talk about how we're doing. Do we feel like yeah. we're progressing? I don't even remember my I goals. Know. So I went back and I listened to them really quick before we recorded today, like before I picked her up and everything and I have them written down. I literally don't remember. So I think you might be surprised. So I'll go like one by one again, how we did it in okay. the episode. Like back and forth. Yeah. Okay. So I started a. Oh. I'm like laughing. Like, <laughs> oh, no. I started off with running a half marathon. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm so upset by this. But I, when I was like really training for it, I literally couldn't walk. Okay, not like oh literally gosh. couldn't walk. I could walk, but it was so painful. Yeah. Like I remember somebody accidentally like running into me, like my leg, and like my I like almost collapsed. Oh my god! Like my shin splints were so bad, <laughs> everything, and I'm like. Zoe did a a half marathon this year and I was like, Zoe, like, what can I do about my shin splints? Like, what do I need? She was like, honestly, you need to wear, um, compression socks. Yeah. And I'm like, no. So when was the last time you were training for one? Um, have you been like, well, you have been running. I, well, I still run pretty consistently, just not that long of distance because it was just like way too often running for too long of distances yeah so i just cut it back to like five miles uh, just that's Not still like good <laughs> as my long runs for okay. now yeah until i can i feel like maybe that's I need amazing to work up like, the strength in my legs or something mm-hmm. or like i don't know my shins whatever it is but yeah. i was like that's so sad because i was so <laughs> ambitious like i was really close to it too oh it's okay so i, I mean like, five damn. miles is amazing like and you'll yeah. just continue to i think yeah once you and you probably should wear like the compression well socks. i was thinking like when it gets colder out i can wear it under slugging yeah but i'm not doing <laughs> it like i'm gonna get tan line <laughs> i'm not doing that right now <laughs> but yeah i was like sad that i couldn't but okay. Maybe, I mean, there's still more of the year left. So and you're also still happen. running. So you yeah. are working at it. And yeah. we're only like a little over halfway. So. Yeah. So maybe it'll happen still, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yours was put myself out there more. Say yes to everything. Put myself in situations where I'm uncomfortable. I feel like I, I have done that yeah. recently. I don't really say no to things. Right. Except like only when things come up and I just like can't make it or I'm yeah. working. Yeah. Um, I definitely could put myself out there more. I feel yeah. like sometimes when it comes to like dating and stuff, I feel so, like that's hard though. It's so hard. Cause it's like, it's hard to meet people like not in college or like not in school. Like it's like, yeah. you know, like, and like just, organically. Yeah. Right. Like you can go uh, on like the dating apps, but the guy um, last week would have been good. <laughs> anyway, did you tell your mom Stop. about him? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Dang. 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 Who knows? Okay. We'll see. He's old. Though. I saw a really cute doctor at work this weekend. Ooh. But he was like, I don't even know who it was. And, and then he was just gone. I was oh. like, oh, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, I should work on that. Because yeah. it's summer too. And it's like fun time to like go on dates. Like it's warm and like it's nice out. I so. don't think we realize how fast summer is going um, by. Yeah. So it's by the crazy. time we reconnect again, you and me. Yeah. Hopefully I'll have, done, I'll have gone done out more. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see i mean the I wings do, are on and i do occasionally yeah. but you know i could could more okay <laughs> working on that yeah. one too okay this one's funny i said learn to cook and the one thing i said i knew how to cook was tacos i remember that which i do know how yes. to but i haven't even made them did you have you cooked anything else um i've gotten good at making breakfasts well and you've been making lunch because you're your new job oh yeah but like that's like cutting up <laughs> lettuce <and> like, <laughs> taking a match chicken or like i got chicken from one of our places in princeton this past weekend like that's good though maybe the second half of the year i'll actually cook also second half of the year i feel like cooking will be fun because it'll be like fall cozy vibes yeah exactly. we can do like wine nights yeah. and make dinner and yeah. watch movies exactly and stuff. <laughs> yeah we'll see i don't know that will be fun though I'm dead that you said tacos. Have you I made know. tacos? Since? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. But I was um, when my parents came in July, they brought me taco meat. Oh like, really? Already made. Oh my like, gosh! Already, <laughs> it, like it was in the freezer, and they were like, "All right, here oh. you go." But um, yeah. I so I think maybe that will definitely have to be something for the second half of the year. Yeah. But I'm still in my old habits of still not cooking. Yeah. So <laughs> it's okay. We'll see. I don't cook that much either. Yeah. Like, I just, like, make easy things. I don't know. I think that I really just can't do the meat thing. Like... Yeah. But I just need to get over it and do it. It skews me out a little. I know. <laughs> and we said oh, we would just, do it together, yeah. too. Okay, we did it. let's do it together in the <laughs> second actually half of the year. do it. <laughs> so when we do our full goal update... Yes. ...by end of year... Stop that. That's going to be, like, Christmas time. Yeah, that's crazy. The fact that we already did this one in like March and now it's August. Yeah. Happy Time August. is flying. Oh yeah, it's August first. <laughs> but yeah. So we'll have to cook. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared for these goals. Okay. Oh, your next one. This one you did, and it's you're rocking the look today. Oh um, no, the go hair. Go heatless slash hair health. Okay, I have been doing. You have. Been. I have been doing some heat, but I've been going curly way more. I wasn't yeah. even going heatless before. Yeah. Like I literally wasn't. No, it was just like. I mean, your hair has gotten so much healthier. It's gotten so much healthier and thicker. Like mm-hmm. when I look at pictures from even like when we went out, like we got those like temporary yeah. tattoos <laughs> like my hair was like yeah. thinning and, and yeah. that's when it still looked like it was lighter so it also like and i think just like having my natural color yeah and like wearing it, it looks curly so more. good though. i've been getting so many compliments on it at work like yeah. my natural hair it looks um, i love your hair today it looks so cute <laughs> i'm like yeah. it was so like i've just had it curly the past few days and i was like it's a little messy down right now mm-hmm. but i was like a nice messy bun might work yeah but Perfect. I'm glad I'm doing that one. Yeah, that's a <laughs> and good one. Also, it's halfway through the summer. Like I shouldn't even be doing heat in the summer. So the rest of the summer, mark my words, I like I'm gonna really try to not do any. Really heat. try because I'm going to Aruba. I'm gonna be swimming in the ocean and yeah, the like pool. you don't like, need I don't to do wanna, it there. Yeah. yeah, and I'll just do it like this or down or slick yeah. or something. You know. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my next one was make a girl's trip happen. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, of course, like, I really would have loved to, but I ran out of PTO days at my <laughs> new job. <Yes. laughs> like, this is the, uh, so unfortunate, but um, the new job has limited PTO, not unlimited. So you don't have so any left for the year? Or? I have, I used up two for the Bahamas. Mm-hmm. I'm using one on Friday. I'm using one next Friday, and then five days the following week. Okay. And then I use two for the firm trip. Okay. So you don't have any. So I have none after that. No, I was yeah. going to say maybe we do like a fall trip. I know. It we also so could fun. always do like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday yeah. thing. Like yeah, Friday. Do. Or do you even go into the office Friday sometimes? No. So we could all, you could always work from home. Yeah. From home and we could go somewhere yeah. like a girl's fall trip. Somewhere. Yeah. That would be fun. Like after busy season. Post cabin. Busy season, that would be fun. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. Busy season, so it happens again. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> no, I mean, like, yeah. it's not only in the beginning of the year. No, it, there's also a fall one. Because no. so when there's the extensions, it's a six-month extension. Oh. So it's there's November, or what am I saying? 9-15 and 10-15 deadlines. And oh. then some states are, like, 11-15 uh, or 12-15. But, like, you should have your states done by then. By 10-15. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so my at God. 10-15. <laughs> crazy crazy yeah i'm gonna be a crazy girl Busy again season yeah so I'm, a, I'm really sad but we were saying like to mix and mingle our friend groups I know. and all that so we'll have to get something going we can still do it yeah yeah we'll have to figure something out if not this year then definitely next year yeah um your next one is being more intentional about self-care and wellness oh i feel like i definitely am yeah i mean i'm not like i I definitely like will practice things that help with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like it's been better. Even just like my hair health, yeah. like going to workouts and yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think I'm also, I've been taking care of my mental health mm-hmm. more. Yeah, that's <laughs> I've good. I've been actually like doing things about that. So I'm proud of myself for that. Yeah. So <laughs> I think that's I, good. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. pretty, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, my next one was be consistent on social media. You are. And I am. You kind are. Kind of. Like, let's TikTok. see. I was so- talking about Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Now, YouTube, I slack forever, but I did record something for when we went to the Bahamas, so I think I'll edit that yes. and post it. Um, but it's already almost a month ago. Okay, it was like two weeks ago, <laughs> but like when I think Not about when I'm going to get to it, it'll be like a month later yeah i think when i go to canada i'll want to do another vlog it's always kateri in them <laughs> like ugh, annoying but yeah okay not annoying sorry kateri sorry, probably gets kateri. annoyed <laughs> she probably gets so annoyed and i think i know she does but like whatever I don't know. But, like i posted a decent amount on instagram recently you have like from june 28th zoe's birthday i have seven posts since then that's really good for me that is good like i usually don't do that let's see from now. march from march when we probably posted this i have april, not been posting april, march april march okay oh you posted today oh my god i once didn't post from july from january 31st to april 1st what that's crazy that's a long time i used to post all the time yeah. now i don't like i've i've been posting it was, every yeah actually i guess i've been posting a good bit but not like a, a lot a lot <laughs> yeah okay so that's better the tiktoks are definitely better than before i think yeah. when i said consistent i definitely wanted to be on like a more daily basis mm-hmm. and i didn't i haven't followed through with that so well, maybe i can get into that a that's little bit hard more. too to be like it daily. is hard. but no you definitely like you're posting way more than before yeah. like i remember last time we filmed this i feel like you hadn't like there'd only been like yeah. a few up yeah. right yeah. yeah so it's better than before yeah okay your next one is youtube <laughs> no it's kind of funny to look back at like it what is, were we ambitious like, to say not me thinking i was gonna and, make like, a youtube channel we publicized channel. this we did like we fully said lauren's gonna start a youtube channel wow <laughs> okay i still want to problem is i feel like tiktok is easier to try and start like so i've yeah. been trying with that like i have been posting some on tiktok too yeah um, oh, I want you to do more nurse day in the life. People love them. I think I I want to start doing that. Yeah. Maybe I I'll like do one tomorrow. Ones, yes. I love watching the ones like when you wake up and it's and they put the time and where they're yeah. at. So it's like your your breakfast or you know getting ready and they put the yeah. time and like the commute and the time. Yeah. And then like once you get there and the time and then like obviously you can't really record while you're there but yeah. like midday they'll put something like yeah. some clip in. Doing some sort of med then, pass or something. Yeah. yeah. And then like later once they're done it's i also know, have like, some nursing changes happening soon that's yeah. all i'll say so that'll be fun i could probably post about that too because yeah. that's like also relatable people mm-hmm. kind of trying to figure out what they're doing yeah. and everything so um so yeah. back to that youtube channel <laughs> but, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah back to that youtube channel didn't happen still would love to do it i just it's hard to find the time. Yeah. Also, I don't have a camera yet. Like, yeah. You so, can use your phone. True. A lot of YouTubers quality, I would, like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Maybe I'll, I'll vlog Aruba. 
yeah that would be fun you should try okay i'll do it okay promise maybe (laughs) maybe (laughs) all right um my last one was meet new people and make new friends find a girl group okay and i feel like i've met new people you definitely have you, you have a new job first I have a of new all. job i don't know why all my guy friend or all my friends are guys all the time <laughs> so like i don't have the girl group the girl group but maybe okay maybe we need to like bumble bff yeah yeah or something together because i'm not doing that all. like i need a group i you know how it's always like i just want to be blessed with a really good girl group, group yeah. that's like it will make me a girl's girl like i yes. just don't want I feel like with girls, this sounds so weird, but it comes with a lot of like, oh, looking at boys and this and that and like dressing up and doing this and doing that, which is also fun. Yeah. But I don't want it to interfere with friendship. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to feel like all of that extra fun of being a girl interferes with having girlfriends. I think we should do Bumble BFF and go on there and we could go to like, I'm so excited, honestly. I'm not trying to rush summer, but I'm excited for like Ravens games. Yeah, and it'll be and fun. We have to go to an Orioles game. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go. Well, we'll when go. we're back, when we're back, yeah. we'll go. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How many more? You have two more, and I have no more. Wow. Yours. Your. Oh. Oh God, I don't remember. You have these. three more. Oh. <laughs> of course um, I do. <laughs> growing with the podcast. Okay. And I think that's true. I, I think mean, we definitely yeah. have been. I've learned a lot since doing the yeah. podcast. Yeah, me too. I, I thought and you meant- just our comfortability with it too. Oh, yeah. Like our first episode, we still need to go back and watch like the yeah. first few because. Oh, we should have so, a wine night and do that. One. It's so like normal now. Like it yeah. doesn't feel weird. And it, it was doesn't. really weird. Like the first episode trying to feel like normal. Yeah. It was definitely. <laughs> was so- even thinking back to like like once we were already doing it but like still a while ago like when we had my mom on yeah like that still was like i feel the like beginning we're even more comfortable yeah. now like, yeah i don't know it's so it's fun, so funny though. it's really funny too because we didn't know each other yeah. at all so it was not just being uncomfortable in front of a camera with microphones we didn't know each other and it's nice because like on these episodes we literally can watch our friendship grow like it's so cute in the beginning oh in the, in the beginning we were like not close we were I mean, so we were timid friends, but yeah. we weren't like and now we're like so like, like and remember like there was one point where you were like yeah we've never even had a sleepover and then we now yeah. we've had sleepovers and we've not done other things besides just going yeah. out and recording the pod <laughs> literally <laughs> oh my gosh how crazy i know how fun and then it's looking so back like in like a year from when we started that'll be fun too yeah Oh my gosh, but that's actually going to come up really soon, I feel gonna, like. I it's going like, to feel like it's going to come fast. But yeah. um, I, I don't know why, but whenever I think of us doing this podcast, I always think of the sound on TikTok that's like, oh, I love being a woman. Yes. I, all, like whenever I think of us doing it, it's just what I and think about. And the girlhood one yeah. now. Mm-hmm. That one too. Okay. Um, communication with long distance friends. Okay. I feel like I'm... I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm still not as good as I want to be. Yeah. Cause life is so busy sometimes. Right. I'm, it's hard to like keep up with everybody. Yeah. Um, I do try and like, I feel like with like certain friends, like I just FaceTime Alex like the other day, mm-hmm. like, um, and I saw her the other day too. And like Aaron, but I feel like some people, I, it's still like, I need to be better with yeah. like catching up. Yeah. I don't know. It's, and like Evan, he was, he's always like, no, like make sure you, you're good with that now because then time just passes by and then you're going to grow apart from these yeah. people and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I was just texting my one friend from college about like coming here soon. Yeah, that's And good. then my other friend were trying to plan like that Nashville trip again. Good, yeah. So, so we'll see. But. Yeah. Wait, when we recorded the goals podcast was around the time Nashville yes. was supposed to happen. Yes. The last one was getting a tattoo. Oh, and she did it! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. Yeah. Wait, yeah. did I have the appointment? No, I definitely didn't have the appointment then yet. Um, I don't no, think so. But you knew what you were March. gonna get. Yeah. yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, and I already, I'm already like trying to figure out what I want for another one. <laughs> I know. How funny! That's so fun to look it's back. Funny, like. I'm glad that we did this though because it's re. It reminds you. Yeah, it's to reminding me it. of what to do. Yeah, because we can just say it, but like I wasn't implementing these things actively. Yeah, and now that like we're and like 
midway through it's crunch time right right so that was so fun i know it because now like yeah we're reminded of it and we can kind of it makes real life yeah, yeah like because now we think okay what have we done to help that so far and what can i do now yeah. or oh i didn't really do anything for that yet but there's still time yeah like, exactly that's fun so exciting what a vibe <laughs> what a vibe <laughs> yeah so i think it'll be good too because when you're looking at it again like yeah. before because now we can either be like okay what did i do to work on these goals before and what can i do now to mm-hmm. like actually do it or like oh like i didn't really do anything yet for that but now we're kind of reminded yeah it's, it's nice yeah we're gonna realign for the next half yes. of the year yeah and then we'll do our end of the year one i know we better have gotten done what we want to get done exactly (laughs) anyway anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode our little 2023 goals check-in yeah um i hope you enjoyed and make sure you like comment subscribe on youtube and listen on apple and spotify wherever you get your podcasts and stay positive and have a good week (laughs) cheers Cheers. Bye. bye